Toad Stands By. When Oliver came home again, the trucks sang rude songs. They were led by Scruffy, our private owner wagon. The engines bumped them, they ordered, but they couldn't be everywhere, and everywhere they weren't, the trucks began again. At last, they gave it up. They said, he answered sadly, said Toad next morning, said Douglas gloomily, smiled Oliver bravely, but he felt dreadfully nervous inside. Oliver marshalled the worst trucks two by two in front of Toad. Duck arrived to find them ready and waiting. He called, Alice and Mirabel responded with a will, and so wonderingly did the passengers, whispered Scruffy. The trucks giggled as they passed the word. Oliver dug his wheels into the sand and gave a mighty heave, groaned Scruffy. His couplings tightened. He was stretched between Oliver and the trucks, yelled Duck, welled Scruffy, but no one bothered about him. There came a rending, splinting crash. Oliver shot forward suddenly. Scruffy's front end bumped behind his bunker, while Scruffy's load spread itself over the track, said Oliver nervously. The fat controller inspected the remains, he remarked. He winked at Oliver and whispered. He strode away chuckling. Nowadays, Oliver only takes trucks when the other engines are busy, but they always behave well. They warn each other.